A helix is a curve in three dimensions, in other words, a space curve, the tangent to which makes a constant angle with a fixed line. The pitch of a helix is the height of one complete helix turn, measured parallel to the axis of the helix. There's a difference between a spiral and a helix. A spiral exists only in 2D. It winds around a central point in a plane, gradually receding from or approaching it. A helix winds around a central line in 3D. A circular helix is formed by winding a line around a cylinder, so the radius is always the same. A conical helix is formed by winding a line around a cone, so that consequently its radius constantly changes. Springs often take the form of various kinds of helices. Helices also differ in their chirality or handedness. If looking down its axis a helix winds away from you in a clockwise direction, it's said to be right-handed. If it winds the other way, it's left-handed. A double helix is the structural arrangement of DNA, which looks something like an immensely long ladder twisted into a helix or coil. The sides of the ladder are formed by a backbone of sugar and phosphate molecules, and the rungs consist of nucleotide bases joined weakly in the middle by hydrogen bonds. DNA forms a long molecular coil in our chromosomes. The chemical structure in the coil DNA ladder encodes genetic instructions in the cells of every living organism. A model of the DNA strand shows the characteristic winding of the double helix. The structure of DNA was discovered in 1953 by James Watson and Francis Crick at Cambridge University and by Rosalind Franklin and Morris Wilkins at the University of London. The significance of the work was recognised by the award of a joint Nobel Prize in 1962, from which, however, Franklin was omitted. A filled-in helix is a surface called a helicoid. The helicoid is the second oldest known minimal surface, in other words, a surface that, bounded by a given closed curve or curves, has the smallest possible area. It was discovered by Jean-Baptiste Mersnier in 1776, 30 years after he discovered the first non-trivial minimal surface, the catenoid. The helicoid is the only minimal surface apart from the simple plane that's also a ruled surface, that is a surface that's built up from an infinite number of perfectly straight lines. The helicoid is the surface swept out by a line that always intersects a fixed axis at right angles and that rotates uniformly as its point of intersection moves uniformly along the axis. This line intersects any cylinder concentric with the axis in a helix. The helicoid has a wide variety of shapes and is a familiar sight in everyday life taking the form of everything from spiralling parking ramps to screw threads.